All right, guys, it is a gloomy, depressing day here in the end times, and I can tell we're going to have a little yapping dog throughout this entire rant. Okay, well, guess I'll be yapping, and so will the little dogs. Uh, anyway, it is a gloomy Friday morning, November 11th, 2016. We have made it to 11-11. And before I get into my ecological meltdown roundup rant, I just want to say goodbye. Hats off. Goodbye, fare thee well to one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes, Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen. I've had rants about Leonard before. He has given me a copyright violation, as I recall. Leonard Cohen dead at 82 from suicide over Donald Trump election. This is from Rolling Stone magazine. Donald Trump has driven Leonard Cohen to suicide. Leonard Cohen, a hugely influential singer and songwriter whose work spanned five decades, died at the age of 82. Quoting Leonard's Facebook page, it is with profound sorrow we report that legendary poet, songwriter, and artist Leonard Cohen has passed away. We have lost one of music's most revered and prolific visionaries. A cause of death was not given on Leonard's Facebook page, but it is widely understood by friends and family that Leonard Cohen has committed suicide over depression exacerbated by the election of Donald Trump. There you go. Cohen was the dark eminence, the dark eminence among a small pantheon of extremely influential singer-songwriters to emerge in the 60s and early 70s. Only Bob Dylan, only Bob Dylan exerted a more profound influence upon his generation. Come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's bullshit. And you know, I was not aware of this. Uh, totally uh, not aware of this. Uh, this is a long obituary in Rolling Stone. <coughs> Did you know that in 1995, Leonard Cohen put the brakes, B-R-E-A-K-S. <laughs> in 1995, Cohen put the brakes on his career, entered the Mount Baldy Zen Center outside of L.A., became an ordained Buddhist monk, and took on the Dharma name Jai Khan, meaning silence. Yes, I did not know that. That Leonard Cohen was an ordained Buddhist monk, but I do know that Leonard Cohen was a depressed collapsitarian and a doomsday prophet. And uh, the I can't play any of his music because when I tried to play this song, everybody knows I was hit with a copyright violation. But let's quote a couple of his songs. Uh, two of my music for the end time soundtrack pay playlist. Everybody knows that the dice are loaded. Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed. Everybody knows the war is over. Everybody knows the good guys lost. Everybody knows the fight was fixed. The poor stay poor. The rich get rich. That's how it goes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that the boat is leaking. Everybody knows 
that the captain lied. Everybody got this broken feeling like their father or their little dog just died. Everybody talking to their pockets. Everybody wants a box of chocolates and a long stem rose. Everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the deal is rotten. Old Black Joe's still picking cotton for your ribbons and your bows. Everybody knows, and everybody knows that the plague is coming. Everybody knows that it's moving fast. Yes. Everybody knows that you're in trouble. Everybody knows what you've been through from the bloody cross on top of Calvary to the beach of Malibu. Everybody knows it's coming apart. Take one last look at this sacred heart before it blows. Before it blows, and of course, his song, The Future. What well, is Buddhist monk Leonard Cohen's vision of the future. Take the only tree that's left and stuff it up the whole of your culture. Give me back the Berlin Wall. Give me Stalin and St. Paul. I've seen the future, brother. It is murder. Things are going to slide. Slide in all directions. Won't be nothing nothing you can measure anymore. The blizzard, the blizzard of the world has crossed the threshold and it has overturned the order of the soul. I've seen nations rise and fall. I've heard their stories, heard them all. It's over. It ain't going any further. And now the wheels of heaven stop. You feel the devil's riding crop. Get ready for the future. It is murder. Yes, there'll be the breaking of the ancient Western code. Your private life will explode. There'll be phantoms. There'll be fires on the road and the white man dancing. You'll see a woman hanging upside down, her featured features covered by her fallen gown and all the lousy little poets coming around trying to sound like Charlie Manson and the white man dancing. The white man dancing. There you go. So, uh, R.I.P. Leonard Cohen and uh, the Donald Trump bloodbath has begun with Leonard and it's uh, if, if Leonard Cohen had just read Huffington Post magazine, maybe he would still be alive today, but I'm going to make this a separate rant. Uh, I'm going to come back at you with Huffington Post comments <laughs> on the Donald Trump election. R.I.P. Brother Leonard, you will be missed. Bye, guys.